seven seasons, SWAT has delivered the drama, and tonight it continues as you can catch the finale on CBS. And the show has already been renewed for season eight. You can expect new episodes this fall. Yeah, lucky us. But mm -hmm. the most exciting part ahead of tonight's finale, the one and only Shamar Moore is here with us this morning. Welcome, Shamar. We're so happy to have you. I'm supposed to say, hey, y'all. <laughs> that works. I've got Chris, Sandra, and Troy. So my mama raised me right. How y'all doing? Good. She great. sure did. Uh. All right. Great <laughs> to have you with us. You know, from Soul Train to SWAT, it, it airs. It's going to air the seven seasons finale here. Tee up the finale for us. Give us a little tease. If, if you're a SWAT fan, this, this is everything that you've stuck with us for, for for seven seasons. And you mentioned we got season eight, and that's that's a testament to the fans. But tonight, it's going to be epic. It really is. It's, it's, it, we went big, real big, because honestly, we didn't know if it was the end. We were told that season seven was our swan song, that we'd have 13 episodes to do our thing and ride off into the sunset. But us at SWAT, we were like, you know what? We're going to hit them in the mouth with just good, old-fashioned, action-packed, super cops chasing down bad guys. Tonight, you got helicopter stunts. You got yours truly hanging off a tanker, getting saved by a helicopter. Like, real stuff out in the desert out here in Southern California. We got car chases, hand-to-hand -hand combat. It's just going to be a nutty, nutty hour. So, if you haven't seen SWAT, watch tonight and you'll never stop. I cannot wait. <laughs> that is the action. Oh, yeah. But now I want to hit the softer side of things. You know, in the series, Hondo is handling being a new dad. And you yourself became a dad recently with the birth of your daughter, Frankie. How does being a new dad inform your role as Hondo? Does it help at all? Well, it's funny. I woke up this morning because it's really early here. I got, I got my Starbucks and the whole thing. Uh, sorry, where the light went off. Um, uh, we just, on, on the news here, at 5 o'clock in the morning, we had this crazy car chase. We have car chases in L.A. all the time, this crazy car chase. And I'm sitting there watching, and, and, and the van crashed into a bunch of cars. Thankfully, nobody got hurt. And the dad in me was like, what if there was kids in the car? That's just outrageous. <laughs> I, was like, I got all concerned. I was like, who am I right now? But uh, no, being, being a father is a miracle for me. Little Frankie, uh, she's magic. She's waddling around. She's walking, um, you know, with her little droopy diaper and all that. And, and it's, uh, but it does, it does put things into perspective. But a lot of what you see on SWAT uh, through the seasons uh, has kind of mirrored, you know, not being the tough guy. Being the tough If Hondo and Shamar got in a fight, Shamar would get his butt kicked. Right. But, but as far as... But as far as like the family element, you know, just uh, my father being an ex Black Panther, that's real for me in real life. Uh, my girl on the show, uh, Nichelle, gets pregnant. Well, my girl in real life, Jezere, they got pregnant around the same time. So I tease the writers that they're lazy. They're just taking my real life and putting it on TV. So, but now that now that I have Frankie, it's just, it's uh, it's easy for Hondo to play play daddy because i'm just doing what i do here at home and i'm going to work and doing the same thing wow well we love it well we know that a lot of fans are so excited about season eight what can we expect for season eight and why do you think this has lasted as long as it has you know it's crazy i pinch myself i mean it's it's like you know you always want to do a show and and hope it's successful but it's like it's like we're the little train that could and season after season it's just fans have continued to find us you know we we got netflix help us out a lot we, we, were, we went from number 11 to number one, and then we stayed steady in the top 20. Uh, people like uh, Charles Barkley, uh, Conor McGregor, Howard Stern, of all people, he, the story is he got COVID and was locked up at home for about 12 days. Right. And in 11 days, in 11 days, he uh, binge watched six seasons of SWAT. Oh, wow. So, I talked about uh, it a lot. SWAT, <laughs> SWAT's caught fire around the world, and, and we couldn't be more grateful because we wouldn't still be on the air without that enthusiasm from our fans. You, you know, some of us up here are actually old enough to remember Soul Train. Yes. So I've got to ask yes. you, are you still practicing those Soul Train moves? Come on. Hey. I know it's early, but I see that. Come on, I man. love Ooh, it. That. Yes. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good stuff. Hey, thanks a lot for joining us this morning. I'm going to send you a Tiger's hat because we got to get some uh, good looking lid on you yeah. there. All right. Is that okay right. with you? It's, it's right. already in the I'll mail tomorrow. Go, go Lions. Yeah, go Lions, go Tigers. All right. <laughs> Good to see you. <laughs>